so this is going to be um, a video about my planner. So I purchased this planner from um, plumpaper.com and I actually contacted them and I have a code for you. So watch till the end of this video for a discount code. Um, but yeah, so this is the one I chose, like a seashell theme. It's like corally peach and then like a mint green color. Um, these are customizable. I really wanted an Erin Condren planner, but I just didn't want to spend that much money on it. So I decided to get this one. So this one is actually for the 2016-17 year. I will do more of a close-up here in a minute. Um, but these start at about 30 I think they're 30 or 35 dollars. Um, so yeah. Let's go ahead and I'm going to show you everything about my planner and then I will um, give you guys the coupon code at the end. Okay, so this is the front of my planner. So these are customizable and I believe the $35 um, starting rate covers the customization on the front cover. So as you can see, mine has my name on it. It also has my initials or my monogram in the middle and mine is for the 2016-2017 year reason being is mine starts in March of this year so March 2016 and mine goes till I believe February yeah. February 2017 so it is a full year you can start it whenever you want which is what I really really love about these because if you missed getting it you're not going to have a bunch of missed or empty months in the beginning it's for a full year and you can start it whenever so inside of course it you know who does it belong to my name's there um, if I ever really took this anywhere I would probably put my phone number or my address so it can be returned to me if I lost it and then we have the overview so the monthly overview so every month um, of the year so mine shows both years so this is 2016 all the months and then 2017 all the months and then my first month is March so I love the colors March is purple which is really really pretty and then over here you have um, you can do monthly goals so goal one two and three um, you can list birthdays for that month, so for that, for March, my aunt, my niece, and one of my best friends, um, her birthday is all in March. Um, if you have any special events, you can list them here, and then things to remember for the month, so anything you need to remember, and then they give you extra spaces down here. Then you have a section for notes, so any notes you might have for this month, you could fill them out and put them right here. And then you have the month overview. So this is March's overview. So it gives you all the holidays and stuff. So St. Patrick's Day, Good Friday, Easter, and then Daylight Savings Time. And yeah. So and then you have little spaces to put notes on the side if you need to. And then you break it down to weekly um so for instance on Tuesday March 1st I need to film a nail tutorial for Easter so that's there now part of the customization that I have on mine is I have each of these sections um, divided so I have David which is my husband at the top so anything that pertains to him doctor's appointments um, recruiter appointments um, if he's got to go somewhere, you know, just anything like that, I can list at the top so I know what's going on with him. If any of my cats, so I have another section that says cats. If any of my cats have appointments, I can list their appointments um, and who, what cat. And then anything from our beauty channel. So any videos I need to film, any ideas, um, deadlines, things of that nature can go under my beauty section. And then I have a vlog section. So if there's a special vlog I need to do, I can go ahead and mark it to when I need to film that video. 
Also, I have a savings section down here. Um, so I can note how much I'm putting into savings on what day. So I can just kind of keep track of how much I'm saving. Bills, um, again, I can mark what bills need to be paid on what day. And then gifts. So if I've got a friend or a family member whose birthday is coming up and I need to get them a gift, I can mark it on here um, that I need to pick up their gift by this day or I need to ship it by this day or so on and so forth. So again, it's broken down like that every week of the month. So let's go ahead and go to April. So April is, um, oh yeah, I forgot. Whoops. This is a, an add-on, um, so obviously I paid for it. So this is a monthly cleaning um, chart. So, um, I feel like there's something in here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just weird. So this is a monthly um, cleaning chart. So kitchen and dining room, uh, living room, and it gives you little spaces to check it off. Um, bedroom, uh, bathrooms, office, bonus room. And then on the back it has extra spaces so you could put baseboards um, walls you know etc in there and then gives you a little section for cleaning notes so if there was something maybe you didn't get to this month then you could note it here so you know to start with that the following month so I think that's really really helpful um, and it'll definitely help me keep things cleaned up so again <coughs> April, a new month. This time it is in like this peachy color. So again, same layout for every month. You have where you can list your birthdays and things like that. Um, notes for the month. Your overview calendar. Again, Passover is marked for April because that's like the only holiday. And then again, all of my little personalized tabs and this um, comes with it you don't have to pay extra for this this automatically comes with it so if you didn't want to break it down like I did you could put morning afternoon evening nighttime etc etc so again it's broken down so here's May which is more of like a corally color again same layout, same layout. Um, June, same thing. And I have one cleaning page per month. You can actually, for more money, I don't think this comes, I think this is the bonus, the cleaning page. Um, but if you needed more than one, you could add more than one per month. June is more of a, like a reddish coral. July is green. August is a lighter green. September is like a mint green. October is a tad bit darker. Mint green color. November. December is like a purpley blue. January is more of a deep purple blue color. And then February is like a lighter pinky magenta color. Okay, so then at the end of February, these are bonus sections back here. So my bonus sections are budget. So if I open it, it gives me a place to put all my bank accounts information. Um, so description, account number, routing number, credit and debit cards, um, contact, phone number, address, etc. And then notes. So I don't think I would keep this information in here just because if I did happen to lose it, um, somebody wouldn't have all my information. And then this is the monthly assessment.
so this is kind of like where you can um, kind of break down your um, your income so your total income um, what you're gonna budget so like your budget what you think your budget is what your actual budget is and what the difference is and so you would start this so like if I was to do this I put March 2016 and then your um, total expenses so what you what you what you want to budget it as which it actually came out to be and the difference and then net income what you expect what it actually was and the difference and then these are like checking account starting balance ending balance net gain slash loss and then over here you have savings account starting balance ending balance net gain slash loss um, so this gives you a section that says this month's goal so you can write little goals like for savings or whatnot and then savings goal so you have savings goal savings actual and then debt goal so debt payoff goal debt payoff actual and then just bonus note areas and then a monthly these are monthly budgets so this goes these two go together so this is where you put your monthly budget and then on the back it has another one of those sheets so you can do this every month in the back of your book to where you don't have to like see it and get depressed every month on your budget and then um okay and then almost to the back so this is where you can note your monthly expenses by month so January February you know all the months all together so you can see them all at one time so it says income expenses giving savings and debt and then the amount and then notes if you have any and this is for your bills so you have bill the amount of the bill sorry so the bill the amount of the bill the date and what month you paid it in so there's two of those and then this is a debt tracker so <coughs> track your debt so um, your starting debt the interest how much you've paid the date and then the balance so I think that's really really helpful too next is meals so <coughs> I am getting into trying to eat better so I decided that I needed a meal planning section so I have this in my um, planner which is very very convenient for me it also has very helpful tips so like um, solid measurements uh, meat temperatures and then um, com temperature conversions at the bottom and then you have volume conversions so eight pinches is one teaspoon three teaspoons is a tablespoon etc etc all the way up to a gallon so that's definitely helpful and then here you go this is where you can write your grocery list now I don't know about you but that's not a whole lot of room for me like my gro my grocery list is long always so but you have like if you only have to pick up a few things here and there then these are fine so you have week one week two week three week four but really um, we get paid by bi-weekly so we would use two of these at a time which is good for us and then here you go monthly meals so you write down the month and the year and then what you're gonna eat Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday of week one week two week three week four and it's like that for every month um, actually they don't even it's not even like pre-written what month it's for so if you don't use it for one month then you just have an extra one um, to use so let's see okay and then skipping ahead da -da -da -da. okay 
So here we have meal ideas. So this gives you a place to write meal ideas. So breakfast ideas, snack ideas, lunch ideas, dinner ideas, dinner. It gives you two spaces for dinner. And then a dessert idea section. So you can write all the ideas that you have or things that you want to try in here. And then favorite meals. So it gives you, you can either click or um, check breakfast, lunch, side, or dinner. And then you can write where the recipe is, um, your source for the recipe. So you can always know um, where the recipe is. And these are for your favorite meals. So this is going to come in handy because we are going to be trying lots of different things. It also gives you a place for takeout, favorite takeouts. So um, it gives you a spot for the restaurant name and then the phone number of the restaurant and your favorite dish from the restaurant. So that would come in handy if you um, have lots of different places you like to eat and you want to, um, you know, have them all within arm's reach. And then the next section is going to be fitness. So I am working on losing weight. So this section is going to come in handy for me. So I'm trying to move stuff around. The way this camera is sitting, it's kind of hard. Okay. So right here, it's like fitness statistics. So the starting date of mine would be March 1st. I would weigh myself and it says start pounds or starting weight. And then starting body mass index or BMI. And then the end date. So what day would I end it on? What is my ending weight? What is my ending BMI? And then it gives you a place for measurements. So you can measure yourself. So the starting measurements and the ending measurements. So this would help you um, with um, kind of being motivated. Because when you see all this stuff change, it's really, really good. And then it gives you a spot for affirmation statement, long-term goals. So you can write all your long-term goals, motivation. So anything that would help motivate you could go here. And then it also has a section for short-term goals. And then milestones and what reward you're going to get. So milestone, lose five pounds. What would my reward be? I don't know. Getting my nails done. And then the date that you completed it. So that's really cool. And then you flip it over. And it's a monthly fitness. So you pick what month it is. So for this one I put 316. So week one my weight was what? Okay, and then week two it was this, and three it was this. And then, again, monthly goals, measurements, notes, rewards that I've completed for that month, highs and lows, and this month's fitness plan. And then over here, this is the monthly fitness. So, you can write down what exercise you did, the time you did it, the distance you did it, or how many sets you did, or how many reps you did, and then how many glasses of water you drank. So, if you um, drank, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it gives you eight glasses, because you should ideally drink eight glasses of water a day. So, and that gives you 31. So, one exercise a day for 31 days is available for you to write down. And it's like that, you know, for every month. Again, you fill it out. It's not pre-filled out for you okay and then on the back of the last page you can actually chart your weight loss so um, date range you put your date range in there um, the goal which you totally lost and then um, pounds over here and then date down here so you can watch and see where you might have had issues like if it was a holiday or whatnot for the next year if you are continuing to lose weight for the next year. And then the last section, again, these last couple sections, so budget, meal, and fitness were all extras. I had to pay for these. Well, so is this. This is a contact section. So in here, it just gives me a place to paper list my contacts because not 
in case my phone messes up, I want to be able to find my contacts. So I ordered, it wasn't even that much for these contact pages. I think for 10 of them it was like a dollar or two dollars or something like that. I think I have like 20. And then there's a blank, a couple blank pages. And then these are special dates for each month. So it gives you a place to write that down. Um, web, website, this is for passwords. So website, username, password, another contact sheet. And then a list of holidays. So these are the holidays. This is for 2016, 2017, 2018. And then an overview for the year 2018. I don't know why, because mine ends um, in 2017, the beginning, so I'd have to have a new one. And then I have some stickers, so I've already used one, obviously. But um, these are extras as well. But they're just like the little basic little um, stickers. They have, I believe, other ones, I'm sure. And then these are for keep, so anything you need to keep or that you want to keep, um, it gives you like this little folder pocket at the back, it's both sided, and yeah. So the cover and the back cover are both waterproof, tear resistant um, material. It is kind of like a plasticky paper, um, so there's no clear cover to go over it because this is like I said, like a plastic material. Um, the rest of this is all paper, obviously. So, except for these. I think these are the same type of plasticky material. So, they're rip proof, um, waterproof, or water resistant, anyways. Um, obviously, the pages in the middle can be ruined. But, all in all, this is a really, really great, great planner I'm so excited about this if you guys are interested in planner videos please let me know in the comments below um, if I do do them I will probably do them on my vlog channel just because that is more about life um, this is more of a beauty channel um, I will um, obviously keep you updated on the fitness part because with this channel being dedicated to PCOS this me be losing weight is going to have a lot to do with my PCOS. So, yeah. Um, again, if you are interested in a discount on this, I will go ahead and let you guys know the, um, the uh, discount code will be listed right here on the screen. And that is for 10% off of your purchase even if you got extras even if it's over the just the basic $35 one it's 10% off so um, I will definitely do a review after I've had it but again it is a planner I really like the layout um, and I definitely love the extras that I got so I will leave a link to their website down below so that is it for my planner video video I hope you guys found it very helpful um, Again, if you guys need that code, it'll be right here on the bottom of the screen. But I am absolutely in love with this. I feel like this is going to keep me organized with all my videos and just my fitness and meals and budgets and all that stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And leave me some comments. Let me know if you guys have one of these planners. Um or if you are interested in getting one and if you do get one let me know what style you got because this is just the one that spoke to me but there were quite a few that I really really liked but um, I just love the coral and the mint color together so leave it in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video remember to always be kind love you guys Mwah.